Where are the zeros of zeta of s? GFB Riemann has made a good guess. They're all on the critical line, stated he, and their densities one over two pi log t. This statement of Riemann's has been like a trigger, and many good men with vim and with vigor have attempted to find with mathematics rigor what happens to zeta as mod t gets bigger the efforts of landau and bohr and cramer hardy and littlewood and titchmarsh are there in spite of their effort and skill and finesse in locating the zeros there's been no success in 1914 G. H. Hardy did find an infinite number that lie on the line. His theorem, however, won't rule out the case that there might be a zero at some other place. Let P be the function pi minus L i. The order of P is not known for x high. If square root of x times log x we could show, then Riemann's conjecture would surely be so. Related to this is another enigma. Concerning the Lindelof function mu sigma, which measures the growth in the critical strip on the number of zeros it gives us a grip but nobody knows how this function behaves convexity tells us it can have no waves Lindelof said that the shape of its graph is constant when sigma is more than one half oh where are the zeros of zeta of s we must know exactly, it won't do to guess. In order to strengthen the prime number theorem, the integral's contour must never go near em. Andre Vey has improved on old Riemann's fine guess by using a fancier zeta of s. He proves that the zeros are where they should be provided the characteristic is P. There's a moral to draw from this long tale of woe that every young genius among you must know. If you tackle a problem and seem to get stuck, just take it mod P and you'll have better luck.